best thing about my job is that probably it allows me to be creative and be free, a bit like an artist. I, I think that there's quite a lot of commonalities between doing research and doing science and, and doing art. It's, you know, getting your research design right is like writing a small poem or a little pop song or an opera. My name is Jesus Crespo Quaresma. I'm a professor for macroeconomics at the Vienna University of Economics and Business. I'm actually an, an applied econometrician. So I apply statistical models to try to understand reality. So in that sense, it's a very quantitative uh, and uh, empirical way of looking at things. So I, I would say I just have to get the numbers right. Well, actually, I wanted to become a teacher. And it was only after I studied at university that I discovered that being a teacher for big kids, that is being a university teacher, also required to do research. And that actually doing research was kind of fun. Confronting students with uh, current research results is also particularly important when it comes to fueling the critical thinking that they should develop as part of their university education. In this project, uh, we have a look at what are the determinants of uh, deforestation. Why do some countries destroy more of their forests than others? Uh, there's quite a lot of theory behind it and in particular what we wanted to have a look at was how does the level of economic development of a country affect deforestation. You need of course to work with people who know much more about forests than I do, so we decided to collaborate with uh, remote sensing experts, people who get satellite data. What we try to do is to concentrate on borders between countries of the world and measure how much forest cover there is in each one of the two sides of that border uh, so that we could keep all the climatic uh, characteristics of the terrain as constant as possible. And then the differences that we observe between those two countries should be then only due to particular socioeconomic characteristics of that country and not to the climatic differences between, between the two nations. What we discovered is that as countries get richer, deforestation takes place and eventually it disappears when countries get over some threshold of income per capita. As countries get rich enough, there will be, on the one hand, more demand for nature and, on the other hand, better technologies in order to cope with environmental depletion. And this type of relationship, which is often referred to as the environmental Kuznets curve or the deforestation Kuznets curve in this case, is something that many researchers have been looking for. And what we did was to discover that actually it is the case that the deforestation Kuznets curve exists. I think that the results that we have found are finally giving some empirical background to the theory that was outside there is actually a huge step to understanding the relationship between development and deforestation and that it will be an extremely useful instrument to design future policies and we think that the results we have in this study will help us be able to understand the real costs of climate change in the future.